Let's start off my Puri Briar Fest collection tour with my glass cabinet. This is my most expensive model glass cabinet. Let's see. Tandem Native Sir Henry the Hereford. That's Ass Hat. Dolly Brahma. And then skipping over here. Let's see. Um, that is Kestramore. Behind the elephant is Lily and Lolly. There's my bear cub. Um, the bull is Rock and Bull or Rock and Bee. This is American Pharaoh who has no new name. And then all behind him is my Silvers who don't really have a space for. And I just didn't feel like naming them because they're really far away. So now let's go into the cabinet. We'll do a quick overview of the cabinet. I will go down one way and the other since the doors slide like inward. I have to move one door at a time. So this is a overview of my cabinets. Okay, to start off my glass cabinet, here is the topmost left shelf. So these are my glossy pretties. This is glossy bandura with run of roughly 125 or 125. This is the gold lady phase. There's about 250 of her. And then the um, collector club, I think she's a collector club appreciation or something. No, she was just a collector club model. There's 175 of her. And then here is my Cinderella like spinning clock. It I've had that since I was like ugh, seven. And then a shark from when we made my boyfriend to the aquarium. My little uh, I think they're resin, the little Luciano resin or something. Appa, there's a knock, and then that uh, painted glass figurine is from a medieval fair. Next is the middle section of my cabinet. This is Rio de Janeiro. This is a no-name custom. I have yet to come up with a good name for him. Nothing fits. He's very shiny, very blue. He's a blue leopard or a blue um, Appaloosa Pegasus. He's like shimmery purple and blue. He's really nice. That back there is Leviosa, my Briar Pegasus from the Treasure Hunt model. Continuing this way, this is Captain America, Gala, um, no new name, that's the pink ribbon model, and that's Ether. These are my clear wares and tortoiseshell paints. So jumping down here. This is a little glass thingy, my bob. I don't even know for little trinkets that I have. Um, Hogwarts. There's my little um, dragons. They're made out of metal. There's my little castle. There is the. Um, those are actually pencil sharpeners. I got that when we went to visit a ship, and that's for the train fare that we got. That I got the past. In 2019, um, these are like little trinkets that I've just collected over the years. Uh, my dragon, my corgi, my cat playing guitar, all my little ducklings, a kitten. Here's some little glass figurines that I've had since I was a kid. Um, there's a little tiny Disney Aristocat <laughs> that I've had since I was a child. That is a jewelry box, kitty. Those are rock figurines from trips that I've collected. This is a glass made box with the um, Game of Thrones lion on it. To me it's just an Irish lion, but you know, whatever. 
And all inside of here is all the my book titles. So when I want to read a new book, I just grab a title out of there. That is the Game of Thrones sword. I just thought it was cool because it's mini. It looks really nice. There's a lot of detail to it. This is my Anastasia jewelry box. I don't even know if I can open it right now. Ta-da! Yep, there's that. Here's all my mini Albies. I'll probably not be collecting anymore because these are kind of a pain in the butt to get. So continuing on with horses, I have two new inbox Alborozos. They're both back there. There's the magazine that was signed by them pers by the owner personally. And then this is my out of box Alborozo, and I named him Severus. Next to him is Inuyasha. And each of these guys has their ribbons kind of underneath them or halters. So there's Inuyasha still. He's one of my favorites. He looks so good in the light. He, he's just, ugh, love that horse. He's part of my favorite in my collection. These are my photo show winners I placed first in my division for 2019, May, March, I think, and then 2020, May, March, also. So they came with their ribbons. I was in, my picture was in that magazine. There's actually the picture right there. And then my picture was in that magazine that they're on top of. Way over here, I have um, some halters of when I was an ambassador for... Um, yeah, I just had a mind blank. Oh, Moosehead, duh. Also had a Valiant Horse Co. Um, prize that I won. So there's all of her halters for her ambassadorship. I kept them up here because I didn't want to lose them. I was afraid I'd lose one of them, and she sent me a bunch of them throughout the six months I was an ambassador. Um, there's my tattoo custom that I got a couple years ago. With He's a custom Geronimo with the uh, turned ear and painted like my Tattoosa. Um, a toy ribbon, or a toy flag. There's Tattoo's ribbon. Here is, I called him Arapaho. He was my first ever Appaloosa paint horse, or Appaloosa horse that I painted. I'm not an artist, but it was really fun to paint him. I painted some more paint on him. I think he came out really good. He even has yellow teeth, and I don't know why, I just thought that was pretty snazzy for me. This little dude came with a tattoo when I got him as a Christmas present, so that was like my prize in the box. I take this little dude everywhere I go when I go on trips, because he's like my miniature tattoo that I take everywhere. That was my cat. Here's just some trinkets. Me and my boyfriend painted those as a date once. This is my custom tango horse. That's painted after my other horse named Tango. Let's skip dancing Tango. Continuing down here, on the next shelf, is the Glossy Appreciation Latigo. Um, only 157 of him, roughly. I got him with the Christmas event. Um, I actually traded him for somebody. I have the roughly, there's roughly 500 of these made. These are the glossy big checks. These guys came out, you, random ones were sent to dealers and basically the dealer opened a box and gave you a model and if you had a glossy one you bought it for the price of, I mean, price of smart chick back then. So that's my glossy smart chick. This is Cyber Silver Ruin or Cyber. He's my glossy um, surprise horse. Here is the Ancient Magus or Magus. And then that is Tomoe, who is the glossy pop the cork model. This is um, continuing on. This is Aikido, my one and only Copper Fox. I wasn't a big fan of Copper Fox, to be honest, but this color on this mold just, I don't know, screamed at me, so I got him for a really good price at Briarfest once. Here is my Sicilian Conga. It's kind of hard to see because the doors. So, let's see, I have No Name, that is my extra Sicilian, which isn't a full. 
This is Kiowa, the paint horse decision. And her foals, this is, let me think, Aeolos and Ianos. This is her actual paint foal that came with her. And then I have this extra one. I'm still looking for a solid um, paint mare. This is Suncatcher and Spyro, the Palominos. The Appaloosa is um, Kui and I think it's, I think it's Ki. Yeah, I think her name is Ki. And then his name is Creon. This is my original Sicilian and Lee Fire. So I named them Beta and Vlasilos. This is a Yar and Anam, the paint horse set. That is my, oh gosh, Paddock Pal unicorn that I've had since I was like seven. Stinky Mouse! That's Stinky Mouse! Watch your little fingers. That's Stinky Mouse! Stinky Mouse! Stinky Mouse! Does whatever Stinky Mouse wants. On the last shelf of models in my glass cabinet, oops. This is Fire, or I named him Fuego. This is Dark Before Dawn. Oh my gosh, he's one of my favorites too. I love this model. There's my Schleg Frisian. Um, this is Prince of the Woodland Realms, or Legolas or known as Brasheen. This horse is spectacular and outside. Oh my gosh, he's so glittery and pretty. Can't with him. And there's Dark Before Dawn's ribbons. He has a live show placing and a photo show placing. I'm busy. <laughs> I know, you just want attention, but I can't give it to you right now. So those are my alpacas. I bought them at a horse show once. They are legit alpacas made of alpaca, and I just... I am obsessed with them. They're really soft and squishy. And look at the baby face. So those are my alpacas. Look what you've done. You're knocking things over. Stop. Get down. Oh, get down. Ani. Get down. Oh, Ani. <laughs> you have just, you're not Vader. You can't destroy Vader. No. Get down. He wants my attention so bad. Ani! <laughs> Get down. Next to my alpacas is, I actually named this horse the Queen's Cavalry, or, um, Cavalry, I think. There's his rider. Um, these are my unboxed models, so none of these really have names yet. The Trick Rider. There's the Paul Revere set. And there is the Spanish Riding School set. There's some stable mates that are just randomly everywhere. I just have them everywhere. Then on the bottom shelf, I have a collection of Barbies, and I am not afraid to show them off. So here are my Harley Barbies. There's my um, John Deere tractor Barbie, and some stable mates with broken legs that I had to fix. There's a Legally Blonde Barbie because I was obsessed with her when I was little. Don't know, I don't know. Some old original Barbies. Um, I think that's, oh, that's my NBA basketball Barbie in the very back. There's my Native American water Barbie, I think. She's the Native Spirit Barbie. There is my uh, Irish Barbie. She's the Irish Queen Barbie. Captain America. There's Vader. There's um, all of my R2 units that my skunk knocked down. There's Batman. There's Elsa. Um, Leia. And the R2 unit. The bigger one came with her. There's my other Native American doll. On this side, all the Harry Potter dolls. Um, there's Ron, Hermione, um, Harry, Ginny, McGonagall, and I have two Dumbledores, one in the box, one out. Here's my um, my Quidditch playing Ron and Draco. There is Dobby. There's some other figurines that I have. There's my Lego I created. I actually picked her out. Those are like personal made Lego Harry Potter characters, so I made her to look like me, basically. Um, my boyfriend picked that one. It, it's, it's like, um, it's like Gandalf, but with a lightsaber, because he's weird like that, I guess. There's, um, Newt Scamander's box, so when you open it, there's a little creature inside. There's Beauty and the Beast characters, and I also have Beauty and the Beast, the marriage ceremony, and then the Beauty and the Beast, the originals. 
So those are the Barnes & Noble exclusives. I believe this one was an exclusive also. Those are kind of harder to find, but... Then there's a bell out of, like, her um, peasant gown, I guess you could call it. And I think that's all. Why are you kidding me? Why are you kidding me? You're so jealous. You're so jealous that I'm not petting you all the time. You're so jealous.